This year, citizens of the Turks and Caicos will soon be seeing a spike in their paychecks. That's as the TCI government is set to raise the country's minimum wage starting this year. Our One Caribbean News, Deandra Hamilton, tells us by how much and why leaders are answering the calls of workers. The Turks and Caicos Islands government promised its citizenry that in the new year, there would come an offer about minimum wage, even livable wage. And as they say in the islands, so said, so done. After several calls for an increase in the country's minimum wage, the Turks and Caicos Islands government has responded with a move to raise hourly earnings to a minimum of 8 or $9 based on one's profession. The government has also given residents 28 days to weigh in on the change set to take effect on April 1st this year. Wednesday in cabinet, we will increase a minimum wage to $8 for unskilled labor and $9 for skills such as security guards, construction workers, manufacturing industry workers, banking, financial services, and insurance. The issue ignited several heated debates in 2022, especially in the wake of staggeringly high inflation, which drove up the already high cost of food, fuel, and electricity in the islands. The Washington Mizek led administration, holding fast to its timeline for progress, offered that it would consult on a livable wage, with a big announcement due at the start of this year. Well, on Friday, January 13th, it was revealed that the government believes every worker in the Turks and Caicos should be taking home a salary of at least $320 per week. The proposed minimum wage of the government puts Turks and Caicos workers as some of the highest paid in the Caribbean per hour. The Bahamas, which is paying $6.50 per hour, came in set at $7.25 per hour, and even above the United States with a federal hourly pay of $7.25. For perspective, though, Turks and Caicos' cost of living is also among the highest in the region. Now, residents have about 28 days to weigh in on this proposal. The government wants this to take effect by April 1st.